In this video, we will share with you on how to launch the CoSpace Autonomous Driving Simulator, check the frame rate per second FPS, and how to improve the FPS if necessary. Double-click the CoSpace Auto Driving shortcut on your desktop. Click on Learn button if you wish to assess the learning packages. Click on Compete button if you come for competition. Click on IQ button if you take CoSpace Online Challenge, or we call it IQ Challenge. As an example, we click on Learn to assess the learning packages. Choose your level and map, which is also known as our virtual environment. For this video we will choose Future City Practice Field. Now, the Future City Virtual Environment is launched. To check the simulator version, you need to click the control panel first, and then, press control key together with the letter V. To check the package registration info, you need to click the control panel first, and then, press control key and letter M together. Frame rate is a very important parameter in auto driving simulator. It indicates how fast the virtual environment image updates every second. The higher frame rate per second will give the faster and smoother display quality and viewing experience. The robot performance will be affected if the FPS is too low. The frame rate is indicated on the status bar. It is highly recommended to keep the frame rate greater than 15. If the FPS is less than 15, you can adjust the screen resolution or change the rendering quality to improve it. Let's see how it works. Exit from the CoSpace Auto Driving Simulator. Right-click anywhere on the desktop and select Display Settings. Keep the text scale as 100%. Change the display resolution to 1366 x 768 Select Keep Settings. Exit from the Display Setting panel. Back to the same virtual environment. Check the FPS on the status bar. If the FPS is greater than 15, you do not need to do further adjustment. You can carry on with your coding exercise. If the FPS is still less than 15, Follow the next method to change the rendering quality. Click on Rendering Settings in the menu. Change the rendering quality to low. Check the FPS again on the status bar. Now, the frame rate should be greater than 15. You can carry on with your coding exercise.